Hi everyone, Nurse Jane here. In this video, we'll talk about why sodium is important, why too much sodium is detrimental to your health, how much sodium is safe to consume, and who should avoid high sodium foods. First and foremost, don't get me wrong, sodium is an important electrolyte in our body. In fact, without sodium, we will not survive, and not having enough sodium in our body can be life-threatening. The good news is it's pretty hard to have low sodium in our body because it's found almost everywhere in anything we eat. So how is sodium affecting our body? Sodium is vital to our health. It helps to maintain fluid and electrolyte balance in our body. It helps to control blood pressure and blood volume. Sodium is also needed for our muscles and nerves to work properly. So why is too much sodium bad for you? It can cause high blood pressure, which is a major cause of stroke and heart disease. And this is a concern because heart disease is the number one killer in the United States, causing about one in four deaths. Stroke is the number five cause of death and the leading cause of serious disability in U.S. Every 40 seconds, someone in the U.S. has a stroke. The good news is stroke is preventable and you may lower your risk for having a stroke. Number one, check nutrition facts. Whenever you buy groceries, check the nutrition facts. Check how much sodium is in the item that you're buying. It's important to know how much sodium is too much. Of course, this does not replace your doctor's advice. The American Heart Association recommends no more than 2,300 milligrams of sodium a day, moving toward an ideal limit of 1,500 milligrams sodium a day for most adults. According to CDC, an average American consumes 3,436 milligrams of sodium a day. Our body only needs a small amount of sodium, less than 500 milligrams of sodium a day in order to function properly. Second, avoid table salt. One teaspoon of table salt contains 2,300 milligrams of sodium, which is the maximum amount AHA recommends. Adding a teaspoon of salt already takes you off track. You can try to use herbal seasonings or Mrs. Dash. Over time, your taste bud will adjust and you'll find the foods that you used to enjoy taste too salty. Number three, avoid canned or processed foods or restaurant foods. These are usually high in sodium. According to American Heart Association, about 70% of sodium that we eat comes from packaged or restaurant foods. If you're using canned vegetables, look for no salt added. Drain and rinse canned beans or vegetables. You'll cut the sodium by up to 40%. Avoid smoke, cured, salted meats, including bacon, hot dog, cold cuts, ham, and sausage. Number four, pick your condiments carefully. Soy sauce, mustard, ketchup, pickles, and olives are sky high in sodium. So try to pick the lower sodium version. And lastly, number five, choose fresh or frozen poultry instead. You can also check to see if salt water or saline has been added. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know in the comments down below, uh, what are the other ways that you find helpful in lowering your sodium intake? And if you did find this video helpful, feel free to give me a thumbs up, share and subscribe so that more people can have access to contents like this. I'll see you on my next video. Take care.